Listen, I'm about to crush your dreams. Your first game in Rock of Blade Point is full of bots. If you want to learn how to win the real games, then stay tuned and keep watching this video. Hey everyone, it's OSK. Naraka Blade Point can be a difficult game to get into, and I'll be honest with you, it was difficult for me at first too. I joined in during the final open beta in June, and from day one, I had a lot to learn about Naraka. But I can tell you in one week, I learned so much, and I went from zero to hero with a day job, and managed to place in the top 100 of the Osura leaderboard. So today, what I want to do is share my top 5 tips that I use to improve my Naraka Blade Point gameplay so you can get out there and start winning more games. If that sounds like your kind of thing, then strap in because here we go. The moment for my vengeance is not yet not. My first tip for you to start winning your games more consistently is to simply spend some time in the practice mode before you start queuing up into your games. This will allow you to get warmed up before your matches to be able to really get into the zone and focus on the game itself instead of that weird feeling you get when you haven't touched a controller or keyboard in a while. This is also very helpful if there's a new weapon you want to try out, like the dagger, to find out all the different combos you can do with it. Who knows, you might even find a new zero to death combo that could be your new bread and butter on enemies who aren't ready for it. Look, at the end of the day, every fighting game player, even the pros, needs some hand warmers before they start their matches. So take five minutes in the practice tool and get warmed up. Why do they challenge me? This next one might seem a little counterintuitive, but I promise once you see the reasoning behind it, you'll understand why it's better in the long run. Picking better drops is such an important thing to learn for battle royales in general, and especially for Naraka. What do I mean by picking better drops? Well, when I'm looking for where to drop in my games, I'm really focusing on two main factors, loot density and other players. Obviously, the golden outlines around certain areas means a higher density of loot, but I'm going to mark some spots from the beta that I found that were really good in terms of loot that you might not know about. Whenever deciding where to drop, just keep in mind the amount of players trying to drop in the same place as you. If you are all of equal combat skill, just keep in mind that the more players there are around you, the lower your chances are of getting out of there alive. Of course, if you're a god at Naraka, then this doesn't apply to you as much, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, then you're somewhat still new trying to learn the ropes, so try to go for less populated areas and come out with some decent loot. You might have to take one or two people down along the way, but at least it's not four or ten. Alright, third tip. Get good armor before you start looking for fights. Blue armor or above is fine, and weapon rarity doesn't really matter as much. That's it. That's the tip. Also, like and subscribe if you're enjoying everything so far. Now on to the next tip. Why do they challenge me? Our fourth tip is going to take some getting used to, especially if you come from arena shooters like Splitgate or Call of Duty. Once you get looted up, you have a few kills under your belt, and that first zone is closing in, just slow everything down. Chill for a second, and find yourself a nice tree or bush. You might think I'm joking, but this is a core strategy of winning more games in Naraka Blade Point. In a battle royale game like Naraka, your main goal should be to win the game and be the last player standing. Whenever you go out into the open running like a bloodthirsty crazy person, what you're doing is letting everyone know around you where you are and painting a nice little target for everyone with a ranged weapon in the area. This is also true if you are in the middle of a fight as well. Third parties are not really a big thing in Naraka Blade Point, but if your fights take long enough, you can bet someone will be looking to clean up the mess. In this situation, you want to be the person doing the cleaning and not the two people making the mess. So stay patient, pick your fights carefully, and once you get to top 20, you're usually going to go up in rank, so wait until then to start going crazy. If you play your cards right, you'll still win your games with double digit kills. Also a quick bonus tip, if you're worried about people hiding in trees, simply press the grapple button to remove the leaves from your field of view. It's really helpful in a pinch, especially if someone's close. Upon my enemies. Die, filth. 
Building off the calm and collectedness of our last tip, Naraka Blade Point is a game with very deliberate gameplay. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that every action you take, every input you make, whether it's running, crouching, or even just walking, has some kind of commitment to it. Every action has an animation, and oftentimes you will be left with end lag once the animation concludes. Very often I will see players going through the same clunky movements, the same predictable attack patterns because they're not being deliberate with their actions and they're often just mashing buttons. What I say to counter this is to slow down. Slow down. Think about what moves you want to do. Press the button one time to do one thing. Don't press attack five times to do only two attacks. Take your time, let the game catch up, and press attack two times at the right time. It is so important to get this concept down, and I'm sorry that it's really hard to explain, but it's really a feel you'll get for the game the longer you'll play it. Once you slow down your gameplay and you get a feel for how the game works, how the game feels, and more importantly how the game flows, then start speeding up your gameplay. Learn how long animations last, learn how long it takes before you can cancel the end lag of an animation, and over time, try doing it faster and faster and faster until you match the speed of the pros. It's really that simple. Once you get the flow down, then you'll really start opening the door to the next level of your gameplay. And that kind of loops back to my first tip of going into practice and just feeling the game out to get warmed up. I really like how we went full circle there. And with that, I will end the video. Thanks for stopping by everyone and comment below what tip you found the most helpful. I really enjoyed making this video and if you enjoyed watching it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Naraka content. Now I gotta get out of here and play some more games. I've been OSK, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.